I'm Niraj Desai. I'm a transplant surgeon here at Johns Hopkins in the Department of Surgery, and I'm the director of the Kidney and Pancreas Transplant Program. It's uh, very satisfying to have patients that are in uh, organ failure in, in this situation, uh, patients that have diabetes, and to be able to do a operation that corrects uh, diabetes, which they've uh, often had for as long as they can remember, decades worth of uh, of being a diabetic and to be able to do a pancreas transplant and reverse that uh, and give them back a fairly normal life is, is a very uh, satisfying thing to see in a patient. So patients need a pancreas transplant uh, for the treatment of type 1 diabetes, which is juvenile onset diabetes, uh, and it is most commonly done in combination with a kidney transplant. So the typical scenario is someone who has had type 1 diabetes for many decades, as a consequence of that has developed kidney failure, and then we commonly do the combined kidney and pancreas transplant for that uh, individual. So pancreas transplant alone is done for uh, individuals with very brittle diabetes that's difficult to control with insulin, either via injection or with insulin pump. Um, so when patients fail medical therapy, the, um, the use of a pancreas transplant alone is an option for them, but uh, that is a less common procedure than a combined organ transplant. So the objective of the pancreas transplant operation is to give someone normal glucose control. They come in being a diabetic on a restricted diet on insulin, and after a successful pancreas transplant, they are off insulin. They return to a regular diet, so they're no longer carbohydrate controlled or a, or a low sugar diet, and they can eat fairly normally and uh, have normal glucose control. For a pancreas transplant, the uh, organ always comes from a deceased donor. The other situation in which we do a pancreas transplant alone is if someone has type 1 diabetes and kidney failure and has a live donor for the kidney. We can do the live donor kidney transplant operation, allow the individual to recover from that, and then come back uh, a period of time later, often about six months uh, later, and then do a pancreas from a deceased donor. We refer to that as a pancreas after kidney transplant, and the advantage of that approach is you get an optimal kidney from a live donor without waiting, come off of dialysis or avoid dialysis altogether, and then address the diabetes issue later with the pancreas.